welcome to another video tutorial in this video we will run our first code in this R studio so but before that let me introduce what are important components of R code to get any graph or get any figure so there are actually three important components of R code so the number one we should have the data this data can be any already stored data set or this can be uploaded through your excel or csv file which you can get through read excel file which we have already covered in our previous videos so the second thing we should have mapping the mapping actually tells what is the x-axis and what is the y-axis and the number three we should have the geometry i mean which type of graph we want to draw so when we have all these three things in addition with any package so we can run our first code so now let me show you how we can run our first code in ggplot so uh, first we can recall our ggplot2 package so as we know to run we can just simply click on this so it will run this library ggplot2 so now our ggplot2 package is recalled so first we need to begin with ggplot2 for anything so because we are working with ggplot2 so we will just click double click on this so you can see this is now ggplot2 is activated now we actually need to tell which data we want to perform so let me show you how we can get to our data and as you know uh, in the previous videos we already learned how we can view already stored data set so we can just write data and can double click on this when we will run this command there are the different list of already stored data sets so we can take any random data set so but for this example maybe i can consider this iris data set this iris data set is very famous and it has sepals and petals data so let me show you write iris and can double click on this so as here you can see we have different columns so the number one column is sepal length then we have sepal width and similarly we have petal length and the petal width and then we have species so we can remember this name we have sepal dot length similarly we have sepal dot width similarly we have petal dot length and petal dot width and we have species so if we want to view this data we can simply click on this so it will show the data in the detail so we can go back and uh, go to our code section so now we can start with our first code and first we need to uh, the recall function of that package so in this package we want to use ggplot2 so we can simply double click on this and uh, now we need to tell this r that which is our data so we can tell to r that our data is equal to iris so as you will write iris the r is so smart it will give you prompt so we can just simply double click on this and then as you know the second part should be the mapping so we can write mapping so as you see whenever we click on mapping so it will tell about the mapping and as we know in the mapping we define x-axis and y-axis that are we need to write aesthetic aes aesthetic and we can now define what is x-axis so we in the x-axis we can write sepal length and uh, on the y-axis maybe y is equal to y maybe we can write sepal 
way so we can double close uh, these two brackets and we can just simply run this code uh, although uh, as you know still we haven't mentioned geometry but before that let me give you a quick view that what we will get so far so as you know uh, here you can see we have now a graph on the x-axis this is uh, sepal length and the y-axis uh, there is sepal width so if you want like petal length or petal width choose you can also mention so now we can go one step ahead and can write and we want to add like now we can write the geometry so we can begin with geom so there is short form of geometry so we can add like geom so as here you can see there are the different types of graph so according to need you can add anything so far this thing maybe we can add geom point and we can simply run this code so as here you can see that these all points are added so good to go uh, and if you think these point size can be increased or decreased so we can like go with its size this we can write size is equal to like 4 and then we can again run this code so as here you can see the size of these points is increased so which i think is little more so i can go with 3 1 and run again so as here you can see the now the size is reduced and now we can go a one step ahead and we also want to add another geometry so we can simply write geom and we can like write geom box plot so we can simply write here as the geom box plot so as here you can see now our space is going to be end so we can simply uh, go after this plus sign and press enter so it will take you to the new line but it will take just a single code so for this purpose for convenience purpose i just entered uh, this r uh, enter and it will take us to this new line and when we will run this so uh, let's see we have now the box plot and uh, as here you can see the box plot is of only one type so let me add here one thing important that is like if we want to fill this fill this with what we have like as here you can see in the iris data last and the last we have the species so if we want to fill it according to the species so we can simply double click on this so now let's see what happens so as here you can see now it has filled this according to these species which were mentioned in this iris data so uh, good to go so now if you want to add more uh, like uh, if you want to add or you want to change any color of like these points if you want to change let's suppose uh, now i don't mention their sizes i am more concerned with color so you can simply write c o l o r o u r is equal to red so we need to mention within this commas is equal to red and uh, we can simply go here and uh, yeah sorry and we can select this and run this code so as here you can see that all these geom points have been changed to red so uh, things are simple uh, maybe in the initial uh, try might be you think this is difficult but it's, it is really easy when you will practice uh, two to three times so uh, then maybe we can to another thing like uh, let me introduce you one more function that is facet wrap as here you can see uh, here is facet wrap you can just simply double click on this 
and you want to divide this whole graph according to so you can simply uh, add this sign and we can according to the like petal length so we can divide this whole according to the petal length and we can run this code so here you see we have now this beautiful graph and uh, if you don't want we can simply uh, go back and delete this and we can run again to get our previous graph so uh, on the background and uh, if you want to change this color so you can go with its theme but before that let me introduce how you can uh, write this and rename this label which is x-axis and which is on the y-axis so I can simply write plus I can write labs and on the x-axis I can mention right you can according to your own need like in this example I can simply write asif on the x-axis and either you can write anything according to your need and on the y-axis I want uh, maybe molecular biology yeah anything you can mention according to the need and you can just simply run this so it will take object oh okay sorry i missed and uh, this because it uh, should have these apostrophes yeah that's it here you see we have now on the x-axis is asif and on the y-axis we have molecular biology so on the background uh, let me show you uh, the last thing which i want to tell you is actually that theme so we can write like theme and as here you can see we have the different themes so whichever you want you can just simply like uh, here is theme black and white here is classic so dark and get and gray anything but i like this black and white so i can simply select this and now can run this so now you see and in the background we have now black and white so now you can simply export this as pdf for your future use so let me uh, save this on yeah we from here we can select any size and we can view after saving and save so as here you see uh, now this graph is of good quality so which you can directly use it in research article or other purpose so uh, in the next video i will give you some more data set and we will practice few more data set and try some different graphs in ggplot